Question 26. We need to solve the equations x squared plus y squared equals 36 and x equals 2y plus 6. Now this is not your typical simultaneous equation where you eliminate the variables. We're actually going to have to substitute here. So if I let this be equation 1 and this be equation 2, what we're going to do is substitute equation 2 into equation 1. So, we're going to replace all of the x's with 2y plus 6. So, x squared becomes 2y plus 6 to be squared. We've got to add y squared to that, and it's equal to 36. I'm going to write this out here without the power. So, that's going to be 2y plus 6 times 2y plus 6 plus the y squared. Let's just tidy that up a little bit. And it's still equal to 36. Okay, let's expand the brackets. We get 2y times 2y is 4y squared. 2y times 6, 12y. 6 times 2y, 12y. And then 6 times 6 is 36. We still have the y squared, and it's still equal to 36. Let's collect our terms together and tidy up. And we get 5y squared plus 24y. And then 36, subtract 36, is going to equal to 0. Next thing we're going to do is factor out the y. So we get y into 5y plus 24 is equal to 0. So one of the solutions is going to be y equals 0. And then the other solution is going to come from the fact that 5y plus 24 must equal 0. which means that 5y must equal negative 24. And then dividing both sides by 5, we're going to get y is equal. Now you can use your calculator here. It's going to be negative 4.8. So we've got two values for y. We've got y equals 0, y equals negative 4.8. We're going to have to substitute both values back into the equations. Now. You can put it into either equation, it doesn't matter, but actually this one's far easier to work with. So that's what I'm going to work with now. So let's substitute y equals 0 in. We're going to get x equals 2 times 0 plus 6, which means x will equal 6. And then similarly, we're going to substitute in negative 4.8 we're going to get x equals 2 times negative 4.8 plus the 6. 2 times negative 4.8 is going to be negative 9.6. Still adding 6 to that. And then tidying up, that's going to give us x equals negative 3.6. So we've got two values for y and we've got two values for x.